I'm just going to run through some of the setup and just show you how much you can actually do with uh, one of these. These are all my outputs. This is an eight output PDM. So this is my water pump and this is how I've got it set up to work. So if my temperature gauge reads higher than zero and my RPM is greater than 500, my water pump will be on at 30%. So if the engine's running when it's cold, it will circulate at 30%. If the temperature is above 60, it will ramp up to 60%. But it will also do that even if the engine isn't running. So if the car is sat and the temp is still at 60%, it will continue to run the water pump. If the temperature is greater than 80 degrees, the water pump will ramp up to 100%. And then at the top, I also have an override button because all this is obviously working off the temperature sensor. If something was to ever go wrong or I just want to run the water pump, I can press my water pump button and that will override everything and it will turn my water pump on to 100%. I've also added this little green light on the uh, dash so that I know my water pump's running. So if for any reason that goes out while I'm driving, I know there's an issue and I can uh, just press the button to override it. Another cool thing that you can do is I can <clears throat> go to my live measures temperature click on this and i can force channel value i can put a value into here above the range i've said it's come on at so if i put this in at 70 degrees so it thinks i'm at 70 degrees you can hear that's come on my little water pump light has come on if i ramp this up to 100 degrees you can hear it's come on to 100%. I can also come down here, check that my water pump is running at 100% here. I can check how many amps it's drawing so that then I can set the amperage of that circuit. I need to verify the one that works off at of RPM as well. So it's the temperature is now 19 degrees. It's reading the water temp. So if I increase the RPM above 500, it should also come on. which it does, you can hear that. You'll notice there I've got a little uh, fuel light, so I've set my... Um, so my fuel pump is just set to come on when the engine is over 50 RPM. So when it's cranking, my fuel pump will turn on. If it's running anything above 50, the... Uh, fuel pump's going to turn on. So as long as I've got a green fuel thing, green water pump thing while I'm driving, I know those are on and uh, obviously if they go out and I've got some issue, that's going to point me in the right direction. Uh, this is my low oil pressure warning. I have my different alarms. I've got one for water temp, one for oil temp, one for low voltage. For my oil pressure, I've also added in all these flashing LEDs just so that it's really in your face. If I've got low oil pressure, this is going to catch my eye. I've also got my shift lights set up. So if I force this RPM value, these are my, you see my shift lights working, 10,000. That'll start really uh, flashing at me. I can force my oil pressure value to make sure that goes out. And yeah, I can, I can basically run through any of the things that I've got set up and make sure that they're doing what they should. And that way you can know it's all gonna work as it should before you've even run the car. So yeah, just wanted to show how how much this thing can do. Uh, initially, I always thought PDM was just a, uh, you know, an alternative to a fuse board. 
Um, but with this system, with the login, the lap timing, and how configurable everything is, you know, you, you really can do a lot with this.